Good morning, guys. We're up at uh, Chester Knob Shelter. We are packing up and getting ready to head out. Uh, a little chilly this morning. It, uh, we had some storms come through last night and the wind was up. I was really, really glad to have this shelter. This shelter is awesome. Um, beautiful view and just really gorgeous. Grass is a little high. I could stand cutting, but I can deal with that. Anyway, there's the shelter back there. And we are getting ready to head out pretty soon. I think we're going to take a side trip to Burke Garden Hostel just to get a few items that we need. Yeah. Um, Morgan's got a rain kilt. She really likes hers. A little bit windy this morning and a little bit chilly. Sure will warm up pretty quick though. Look at those roses. See, I'd like to have some of these these old style roses at home. I just don't know where you would get them now. Look at this. I don't know. The mountains up there. Ooh. Greg, is this beautiful or what? Yeah, I think I, I think uh, we could live here, don't you? <laughs> man, oh man, what a morning. And we sure will walk a ways though to get some toilet paper and a Coke <laughs> and tater chips. <laughs> Burke's Garden Hostel. We are stopping here for snacks and toilet paper. But this is really, really nice. Wow. Gosh, this is so cool. Look at the view you've got back there. Yeah, I think she was saying waffles. So here is the store. This has got um, resupply at Burke's Garden Hostel. And she had a fabulous resupply. Oh my gosh, it was great. Look And look at this backdrop. This is just so cool. And this is the bunkhouse and it's just so neat. Everything has just been completely refurbished inside. It's an old Amish barn that has been completely refurbished so cantaloupe that's her uh that was her trail name she hiked the at i think she said in 2009 um but she uh she and her husband have this uh, bought this and it was an old amish barn and they completely just gutted it and they just left the foundation here and just rebuilt it and so inside everything is just amazing it's all so cool i'm going to give you a quick show here so look at this inside here's the sink and this is the windows looking out is this not great look in here what an awesome place washer and dryer over there You've got um, private rooms, and upstairs there, there's a bunch of bunk, bunk beds up there. It's really nice. There's showers and bathrooms. Hustle, minor clothes. It's great. Really would have liked to have stayed here if we were, <laughs> had not just stayed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> come back next year uh, to actually it ended up it was two years before I could get back to finish the trail but um, 
we left it rather than being Wait bye! <laughs> That's the cantaloupe. Yesterday was such a hard day. Um, we both had a, a really hard time. We were worn out when we got to the shelter. I think I was asleep by six. But um, this morning, everything is its just so beautiful and we've had such a cool morning. its uh, It makes me want to be back out on the trail. Uh, yesterday was a little doubtful, but um, today I'm definitely ready to be back out here. Hey, this little guy's on trail this morning. Caught him, I caught him snacking. Hey buddy, you better get out of the trail. No. <laughs> and the thing is, it just doesn't look that far down from the you camera. Know, yeah. I'm not it. No, it's okay. All the rhododendrons are blooming now and they are just everywhere and the petals just litter, litter the trail. See, we found a natural bear slide. This would be the trail. Jungle gym. Hey, little boy. As you can see, everything is pretty grown up, has been all day yesterday and today. And I actually found my first tick on me yesterday, the last night at the shelter, so now I'm a little bit paranoid. A little bit paranoid about snakes as well. This is pretty treacherous area she's coming across here. Yeah, like I said, I'm glad it's not wet. Yep. <laughs> not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Back to the brush. <laughs> See a little bit. So I'm pretty sure this is an invasive species of spirea, but uh, it's all up here in Virginia. So if you know, comment on this. This is really cool. Someone left a water cache. We're gonna camel up a little bit. Thank you to whoever did this. This is 623. Yeah, I see a couple of bear caves. <laughs> wow. Neat. Oh, and then we climb up. Okay. I'm going to have to turn the phone off. Okay, so we just found some bear tracks. It's a pretty decent sized bear. Ooh.
I mean, I can't imagine having to fight an enemy in this. Yep. And look at this. Nothing but boulders. remember anybody ever talking about it. Look at these. There's just bear caves galore. <laughs> and that's the trail. So we are finally to the shelter. Didn't think that would ever happen. Cute little shelter. So we made it to the Jenkins shelter and uh, we did, Joe and I did 11 miles today, which is not, you know, terribly big miles or anything, but the terrain was pretty challenging. Um, lots of boulders. It was very overgrown, so it was really hard to see the ground. Uh, so both of us have got tired, are pretty tired today and have sore feet and sore, he's got sore knees because he has problems with his knees. And also, Joe took a tumble today, so he's a little bit bruised up and beat up. So both of us are really happy to get to camp tonight, and it's been a, a really good day, though. It's been a beautiful day. The weather was perfect, and it looks like it's setting up to be a um, cool tonight, so that's good, too, because we can sleep good. So bear bags are hung. I'm getting ready to get into my tent and clean up a little bit and change clothes. And get in my quilt. Okay, see you tomorrow.